Hello and welcome to Studio Iceland, AKA my hotel room. Today, we're talking about the Nikon 45 millimeter tilt shift on a Sony A7R Mark V. Now, first you might be asking yourself what a tilt shift is. You probably understand what the, the look of the image is, that the, the corners are a little bit blurred and the, the, maybe the focus plane doesn't really make sense. And basically what you're doing, uh, so it's for architecture and we're using it improperly in uh, portrait photography or weddings where you can actually move the plane of focus. So typically, you would, if you're, you're, so you're the camera now and my eye is in focus right here, that means the background is out of focus. That means if my, my hand's out here, it's a little bit soft and that is, that is normal. What you can do with a tilt shift lens is you can change that plane of focus and you can kind of make it on slants or angles or kind of whatever you want really. So for instance, if I wanted both myself in focus as well as this beautiful, I don't know, it's a bonsai tree. If you want that in focus too, you could have just this slice of the frame in focus and then the, this would be out of focus, the window would be out of focus, but you could have just kind of that. So artistically, it gives you some interesting opportunities. And I have something to talk to you about that's not related to the 50 right now. Uh, Focal's new AI built websites are amazing and you can, you can get it now. Uh, basically what it means is that you upload a few of your images and it builds you a beautiful professional wedding photography website based on prompts and a bunch of AI things that I kind of three quarters understand. And not only does it give you this beautiful website, but it also gives you a great CRM backend where you can do your contracts, you can do your bookings, you can take payments, you can schedule mini sessions and you can host your galleries on the system as well. It's a wonderful all-in-one solution, but again, we'll talk about that a little bit more later in this video. This specific lens is one that I bought a long, long time ago and it's a little bit broken now. My friend Timothy Musa had, had this for a couple of years and we actually have this, this lovely band here. Uh, that holds it a little bit together. So without the band, there's really no uh, friction here. So here you can see that the lens kind of goes up and it goes down and there's no friction there, which is sad. So that helps to change the plane of focus, but I kind of lock that off with this band so that it just doesn't do that all the time. Now, what else you can do, you can spin it this way. So as you can see, I'm kind of rotating the lens this way. And again, what that does is either makes the plane of focus horizontal or a little bit vertical. And then your last option is to move this guy. So as you can see here, now, you, now you're changing the plane of focus. So let's do a little demonstration over here on the rocks, shall we? So here I am, I'm set to f2.8 to show you maximum effect. And it's a manual focus lens, so I'm gonna set maybe that rock right about there in focus. You also lose IBIS, or at least IBIS is bad whenever you use an adapted lens. And if I let the lens go like that, it kind of points down. And I'll try to go back to that rock. But as you can see, brighten it up a bit. But as you can see, when I manual focus around, focus is a little bit of a, a little bit of a mystery to you. You don't really know how it's uh, how it's focusing there. And then as I shift back up, there it is, back to normal. Now, if I were to go left or right, you can see the focus really falling off on the edges there. So I have infinity focus on that rock. But as I pull focus a little bit here, you can see how that focus moves around, it makes things a little bit weird. Now, if I rotate like this. Again, you can change to the line that you're focused on. So it gives you a lot of creative freedom when it comes to putting things in or out of focus, I guess. That's what a tilt shift does. So is a tilt shift a main lens? If I showed up, you know what? I have showed up to many commercial jobs, food photography jobs for sure, that I've only brought this one lens because I knew that it was everything that I was going to need. On a wedding day, is this your only lens? No. So if you do want to go with a minimal bag, like I usually do, I find it a little bit difficult to add this because it's quite heavy to my bag because it's usually displacing either a 35 or a 50 millimeter prime. But that's just a silly me problem that wants to have everything in one bag that I can just carry all day. If that is not a you problem and you want this bonus lens, you can probably find one for pretty inexpensive these days. They were originally created for architecture photographers and just straightening lines and perspectives. But for wedding photography, it definitely unlocks some creative potential. Don't overuse it. The, I think that the thing that I did in the beginning was I got it. I was like, oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna use it all the time. I'm gonna use it for everything. I'm gonna use it for group shots, family photos. And you'll quickly realize that you massively overdo the effect for a while. So be a little bit more gentle. Add a little bit of mystery, but don't like crank it to be the craziest focus plane that no one could ever comprehend what, what's going on. That why is the focus going diagonally through the middle of the scene? And, things are in focus that, that they shouldn't be. And it just becomes almost a distraction for the image. But I think when used just a little bit, like a little, little tiny taste, that it is a great tool to add to your wedding bag. That's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time on this channel. And if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description to get in on your new AI built website 
And what that means is that you upload a few of your wedding images, you hit go, and all of a sudden you have a beautiful, perfect, lovely new website built by Focal. Uh, it's really incredible. Comes with a full CRM backend as well, which means you can take your payments and there's a default contract and you can book everything and keep everything in one spot as well as you can host your galleries. It's just a kind of an all-in-one solution that I wish would have existed in the industry a long, long time ago. It's built now and it comes with a brand new AI website that you can just build and it looks professional and you look great in just a couple of seconds. So check that out if you're interested and I will see you again next time.